Welcome to the machine learning at home. I think I decided how to proceed with the channel. I will show you multiple, sometimes unusual, but always very useful methods of machine learning. The first method I will show today is affinity propagation clustering. Very interesting and effective method which helps, for example, to classify images. Essentially, method is based on finding exemplars some central points around which all other points for cluster will be grouped. So let me show how it works. First of all, you need to install the library AP cluster. But if you install it, like in my case, you simply call it library AP cluster. OK, this is done. So we already have this library in memory of R. Now we need to provide similarity matrix and classify it, make these clusters. So the, pro the procedure is function AP cluster. And that function will take into account the similarity matrix, which is calculated by one of internal methods. So I will choose method neg, negative, dist distance mat matrix and we'll change just one parameter to make my cluster slightly bigger than by default r which is exponent equal to 3 and then i will need my data which is as usual iris without column number 5 and of course everything which i just did in that step i should save into some object let us call it, for example, is ap. OK, looks like it is done. And then we we'll run it. Affinity pr propagation is really fast. So it run in less than one second. Now, how to obtain actual clusters? Actual clusters are within so-called slot. Iris ap. Then we use at sign, like in emails, and tell the name of the slot. Clusters. But these clusters are slightly cryptic. It's only well to see we have four clusters. And then each point is named by position, row number, and also by point itself. So a bit cryptic, and I want to convert it in more understandable way. So I will now apply some kind of R magic to obtain clusters in a normal form. Normal form, I mean each point will be supplied with just no number of the cluster. So let me make it and I will explain what I am doing. So first of all, I will name my future object Iris APCL. It will contain cluster numbers for each of 150 irises and then i will make some magic apply and then s apply yes exactly like it then iris dot ap slot at sign clusters and then i will make a function so called anonymous function Anonymous functions can take variables. I will name it dot y. And then my function is 1 to number of rows of number of rows of is in the same dot y. And now my it was as apply arguments and now my apply arguments i will apply to columns and simply use which so this is my magic let us see how it works okay iris apcl and i will show only head first positions you see, this is a number of clusters. For first point, this is a number one. How I make it? Well, this is 
easy to decipher if you simply remove part of my statement. So, for example, remove everything which related with apply and leave only as apply. Like that. And I will need to show again head because otherwise it will be too long. Okay. So as you see, this complicated, complicated looking, but uh, in accents, very simple function will simply check each point which cluster it is. So, for example, point number one is belonging to the first column, to the first cluster. And this is true false. And then my external apply will convert true falses into numbers of columns, which is actually the number of cluster. Column one is a cluster one, column two is a cluster two, and so on and so forth. Let me show again. Iris APCL. You see, it's just uh, numbers of clusters. So now we need some visualization because it's very cryptic what we have right now. So, for example, we can make a principal component projection, dimension reduction, and use colors to show our clusters. So let us do it. Plot. I will plot directly, immediately result of PR comp principal component of my iris data without of course column number five and then I need to take component X out of it for colors I will use this cluster numbers which I just obtained with that magical way I hope you understand there's nothing magic here just some R functions and then I also need to compare it with the real species with column number five. So I will use the shape of dots PCH to show that real species as numeric iris dollar sign species, which is a column number five. Okay. Sounds like I made my all my parentheses. Well, now we can look on that plot. Not, I didn't. One more parenthesis. Okay, let me repeat it again. So I need a principal component analysis. Oh, I forgot one parenthesis right here. My bad. So this is a critical step. You should always do it, and it's exactly why I leave this in a video. So you need to consider all these parentheses all the time. Okay, sounds like everything else is good. Let me see. Yep. So this is a plot I wanted from my first step. So you can see all these classical three iris pieces, which are designated with a shape of dots, either circles or triangles or crosses. As you see, what AP cluster affinity propagation did? It is simply selected the central mixture between two iris pieces as a separate cluster. Otherwise, it worked pretty well. So let us consider that feature of AP cluster. It's fast, it's good, but when two groups are intersecting, it may produce some results which are not very desirable. Of course, there are multiple methods which allow you to make it better, but please avoid use AP cluster in cases if groups are intersecting. So otherwise you will see something like it. So AP cluster is good also, as you already saw. We didn't specify the number of cluster. It's very important. We simply told, oh, classify it for us. And it obtains kind of clusters, at least in the first case, it's perfect. And then we have intersected cluster, which is also not bad. It's not like one point here, one point here. It's very clear structure. So affinity propagation is a good method. Let us access it numerically, just a little bit. So I will need my own library for that. Library Shipunov. And then I will call my misclass function. The great advantage of that function, it is made in a way that you can obtain cluster relations, even in cases if they numbered or named in a different ways. So I don't know about any other similar function which do this. Anyway, so iris 
APCL and we compare it with Iris pieces. And then finally, we need to specify option best because our clusters equal to true because our clusters are named in a different way. Species are named with species names and this APCL are just numbers. It will then search for the best combination of number and species. Let me try it. Okay, you don't need to look on the error first, just look what is going on. So some of Virginica and some of Verzicolor are classified in that intermediate cluster, which is numbered number two. So this is on the plot is a red color. Otherwise, Virginica and Verzicolor are classified in their own clusters. So again, again, method is reliable, fast good and big big plus is that it does not require the number of clusters it will do it for you so use affinity propagation clustering if you don't know how many clusters you have but be aware that cliff clusters are intersecting you might have some results which are not perfectly desirable still useful otherwise so this is my next new movie now about affinity propagation. Thank you very much for attention.